Hi, Amy here for My True Romantics uh, Sigma Beauty Giveaway. And I've got some holy grails here that I want to show. First off is my L'Oreal Go 360 Clean Deep Facial Cleanser. Candy, got, Candy Johnson got me hooked on this. She did a video on it and did a review. It was the pink kind, not this kind. This is for Senso Skin. But you get this little scrubber that pops out. And this feels like heaven on your face. Um, and it helps with blackheads. I, I used to have a big problem with blackheads, and now I don't. So, this is my first holy grail. My second holy grail see, is my Circuit Skin Molecular Mist Hydrating Moisture Skin uh, Moisture Care. This is like a, a, a very fine mist that you spray on your skin, and it hydrates your face so well. Um, I love this because I have oily skin and this hydrates my, my skin without making it oily. So it's really great. And I got this in a June or July birch box and oh, it smells so good. It really does have a great smell. So you'll be smelling awesome all day. So best moisturizer right here. My next item is my Laura Geller Baked blush. I got this in my last birch box, I believe. August, August. Yeah. But it's a full size item. Usually you don't get full sizes. Usually you just get samples. But I actually got full size of this one. I think it's in Como. Not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But it looks great on any skin tone. High, highlighter. I mean, it's just great. So, I use this pretty much every day since I got it, and it's still, I love it. So, holy grail of my blushes. The next holy grail is my Ardell Brow Defining Palette in Medium. You have two colors that you can mix together, together to match your eyebrows, and a brow, uh, brow bone highlighter comes with a sponge applicator and a and an angled brush to apply the the powder on your eyebrows. It also has a pair of tweezers so you can get all those little stray hairs out. Um, I use this every day because I was in a car accident uh, a while back and one of my eyebrows like can't tell which one because I use this. But which one of them has um, has scars in it. And I have like little patches where there's no hair. So this definitely helps. So, love this. My next item is my Mad Minerals Paint Pot. It's in Bare Necessity. Um, this is a great dupe for the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is maybe 3 or $4. Dollars. And, oh, it's great. It's mineral. So, I mean, it won't be so harsh on your skin, but... If you're looking for a great dupe for uh, Mac Painterly Paint Pot, try Mad Minerals. Uh, it's kind of hard to find, but hopefully I can find a link and I can attach it to the bottom. But I use this as my uh, eyeshadow base, and it's really great. It, it's like one of the best primers. So, Mad Minerals, there you go. Next item is my e.l.f. Uh, Neutrals Edition Beauty Encyclopedia for the Eyes. I would compare this to the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I know it's been like, you know, everybody thinks it's so great or whatever. I just wasn't too thrilled with it. So I'd, I'd rather keep my e.l.f. My Beauty Encyclopedia. Um, but when you open it up, you get all your instructions and you get 12, 12 shadows that are like great and they're so smooth so I love them I'm almost out of this one because I use it pretty much every day but yeah this is one of my, my holy girls in my elf and beauty encyclopedia so love it next is my cover girl outlast lip stain in 415 it's a beautiful mauve color um I actually have a swatch on my hand that's been here for like three or four hours now and it's still it hasn't worn off I've been like scratching at it and trying to get it to come off but it hasn't come off 
Um, but it's a beautiful mauve color. I don't know if you can see that. That's, you know, after it's worn off. This is really great for college students because you can put it on in the morning and it will still be there, you know, after all your classes. Um, so, like, say if you want, you're trying to impress, like, some guy, you know, throw this on, you're going to look good. I mean, don't, you don't have to worry about it. Usually I'm not a CoverGirl fan, but love this. Next, um, I found this because I was looking for a dupe for, my, for MAC uh, Viva Glam or Viva Gaga, whatever that one is. Um, this is Rimmel's Pink Blush. It's a really beautiful uh, pink color. It's like bubblegum pink, but uh, it's really great. And actually, it smells really good. I just don't notice that. <laughs> um, but this is another one of my holy grails because it's so hard to find a pink color that will look good on you without turning your teeth like make them look funky yellow. This is that blue undertones. I love it. Um, so yeah, this is one of my holy grails. Let's see. I think that's it. So thanks. We'll see you later.